I had them on a flatbed, uh, but that truck ended up flipping over the flatbed and getting stuck. So then I brought Grandpa out and saved it all, but I didn't want to put the flatbed on, on this one, so I stacked them all four on top of it and took off with it. We got stuck, and then the truck rolled. Yeah, that was that was before that. It was memorable for you. Yeah. If you play, if you play SnowRunner, it's gonna happen to you at least once. And if it doesn't, then you're not playing SnowRunner right, forehead. Oh, come on. I gotta go back to the water. Boo water! I hate water so much. I'd rather be in the ice and snow at this point. Yeah, armored gimp. That's why I was kind of I mean I was I was hoping you were gonna work something out like that, but yeah, it's the same price, dude. In fact, in some cases it's cheaper to own a house than it is to rent an apartment. Like, mortgages around where I live at are almost half the price of what I'm paying for rent. And then I get a bigger place, but the only downside is it's, it's home ownership. Armor Gimp, good luck, buddy. No, Super Cat, I mean in this game, not in general. I enjoy water. I drink it all the time. But in this game, boo, water. <laughs> if I have to drive a vehicle through it, I don't like it. But I had to cash out. I would not get this amount again. Well, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying, but... With the rising house prices, also rent prices go up too. Everything goes up, which is why people who rent during these times get screwed because in a year, two years, if things calm down, they're paying a higher rent than everyone else. And because they got locked into it, the landlords keep them in it. Have I never been this way before? This all looks like new stuff to me. Oh, I'm still going. I'm going there. I guess that's fine. Did I really want to go that way? I guess I should have went right and taken the road. I guess it doesn't matter. Six and one half dozen in the other. Yeah, I've never been this way before. This is all new to me. <laughs> Armored Gil. Good luck with that, buddy. Expensive dirt, also known as property. Now I gotta cross this water. Since it popped up on Game Pass, what's a good way to raise your level? My tires are very crappy and I can't get a lot of materials to complete tasks. You gotta do tasks. Um, one thing you wanna do first is get your scout vehicle and explore as much map as you, as you can. Uh, if you find upgrades, the upgrades are, are free to attach to your vehicle. Not necessarily the vehicle that you're driving, but it gives you a list of vehicles it's, it's compatible on. And then once you get those free upgrades, you'll be able to do more stuff. Bishop. Yeah, and scouts get better tires sooner. 
my this truck right here is is all free upgrades except for the crane it's all free upgrades this is the fleet star that you that you get that you start off with next to the chevrolet i've got the all-wheel drive i got the differential lock i got a lift kit on it it's all free from exploring this map so then once you get to that point you can pretty much do whatever you need to i'm level six at the moment bishop as you get more upgrades things get easier obviously you just got to explore, buddy. This game rewards exploring. As you find places, you get experience. And as you get experience, you level up. And then as you level up, more things unlock in the store. You can upgrade your stuff. And then you'll be able to carry stuff. You'll be fine. Ouch. How you doing, D? Welcome in, buddy. DSM. I thought it was a five for some reason. How are you doing, bud? Happy uh, Saturday. Hope you're well. So from here, I'm taking a uh, left. Don't why away from the block road mission. They make getting around the map much easier than going around them. Don't why away. Explored Michigan almost completely as far as watchtowers go. This game is cool, but who puts a warehouse in crappy mud roads? So the story, Bishop, is that this place got blasted by a giant flood. So the warehouse was probably around decent roads, but the flood washed everything away. Also, if you explored all the towers, then you should see all the upgrades that are laying around. Go get all the upgrades. I mean, you could do that too, Pot, for sure. Shy. Oh, well, yeah. The 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 block the roadblocks are important to get to get rid of for sure. But he said he couldn't carry materials yet. Gall. So if he can't carry materials, he can't do those missions anyways. Sloop waffle. Not not really. You just can't get to them. I'm sure you can. You just got to work on using your winches more. Uh, uh, one tip would be stay on the side of the road that has the trees or the telephone poles. That way you can winch to them easier. That's 90% of the game is using your winches. Sloop Waffle. There are roads that look like this, but this isn't what all roads look like, if that makes any sense. There's roads next to where I live at that look just like this one right here. And there's mud roads that look just like that. There's no rocks laying in the middle of the road, obviously, because there's clean up. Is that, is that before or after you complain about the temperature typhoon? <laughs> Got him. That's all year, so yes? Okay. Fair. Thank you. 
Let's jump over here and refuel the truck and the trailer. And then we're headed over to the dam. And we gotta find the Chevy. The Chevy's the first one we gotta save. And then we can use the Chevy to save the scout. Uh, no, asymmetrical. The levee's dry. But if you got some whiskey and rye, then this could be the day that you die. Armored Gimp. All right, guys, rapid fire Q&A. For the next few minutes, you have my utmost attention, and you guys can ask me anything. Let's go. Do I believe in rock and roll? Oh, you mean believe in it. I like rock and roll. How you doing, Asumalin? Welcome in. Armored Gimp, do you have a question? Yeah, oh my am, I can't pull the trailer because it's meant for the smaller vehicles. Can music save your mortal soul? I have no idea what you're asking me, Gall. If you were handed a box of everything you have ever lost, what would be the first thing you look for? Um, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figure I had in kindergarten. I had it in my cubby box. And every week or every other day, bits and pieces would be removed from him. His swords, his belt, his everything else. Until all that was left was the, the turtle. So I would love to have the turtle in all of his pieces. Oh, oh, go! I'm over that already. Opinions on the furry fandom. Uh, that's not something I want to discuss. You do you. Have fun with it. Not for me, but is for other people. Just like most other things. Rapid fire. So fast. Armored Gimp. It probably isn't. You could ask me that question without doing rapid fire. You know that, right? Have you thought about dyeing your beard? Uh, you mean like a natural color or like a funky color? I might do a funky color for an incentive one day. Which Ninja Turtle did you uh, most identify with? Michelangelo, because my favorite color is orange. It's all you had? It's the rooms now. Oh, I got you. But why do I have merits? I don't know. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Or could chuck Chuck Norris? Um, chuck Norris owns all the wood. So he chomps it all whenever he wants to. But a woodchuck could chuck as much as a woodchuck could chuck. Is Sandy the best girl? Uh, best dog, yeah. But everyone's dog is the best dog. Three, at least, Vane. At least. At least three. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck Norris? So Stephanie's hello! Longest road trip, 1,800 miles in one day. Dark or light beer? I don't really like beer at all. Liquor. Give me a couple of shots. I'll drink whatever beer you want me to. Should I stick to Michigan or bounce around a bunch? Stick to Michigan. Get all the upgrades, Bishop. If you're having a hard time with one mission right now, get all the upgrades. 1,800? You must have been hauling. Uh, it was interstate driving for 90% of it, so yeah. What game launch am I lo most looking forward to? None. I don't get hype for game launches anymore because everything has been shit for the last five years. 400 miles is a long drive for you. Yeah, I went 1,800 in like 25 or something. I went from South Florida to the Finger Lakes of New York. So I took 95 all the way up. And then I went out to Syracuse and then out to the girl's house. That's right. I drove to New York for a girl. What about it? All right, rapid fire is over, but you guys can ask me questions. I'll still answer them. It just won't be in a rapid fire way. Let's go. Yeah, I don't care about game launches. I'm not worried about it. It happens. It does happen. 
By the way, 95 through DC sucks. <laughs> the traffic was horrible. I think people were dead and they were doing road work and like people were gone and everything else. Whoa! Hot potato on the trailer. Get back over there and stay there. Order to DC. Uh, once DC back, New York. Oh no. Wait, what? Same with New York City. Yeah, I think I think my GPS took me around New York City though. I think there was another interstate we took or I took because we were starting to go into the interior of New York. I never went through the New York City. Never been before. I see your problem right there. Yeah. I'm gonna pick up some lunch. Go for it, dude. What should you buy? You're getting it from a gas station? So I don't know if you guys got them there or not, Vangs, but I'm a big fan of pork rinds. Get you some barbecue pork rinds. You did El Paso to Portland with one stop. Okay. You must have cut west beforehand? I think so. You did that trip in 16 and a half hours, about three months back. Yeah, mine took about 20. Hot and spicy? Hey, hot and spicy's not bad. They might have those, we'll check. Yeah, bangs, get some barbecue pork rinds. Get the softer ones, not the harder ones. I don't like I don't like chewing my teeth when I when I eat pork rinds. Yeah, it's crazy, Armored Gimp. I was working at a gas station in North Carolina one time and a guy came up with an Alaska tag. He'd driven down from Alaska to California and straight across 40. What'd you just come in on? What do you mean? The best damn stream on Twitch! What you just came in on. How are you doing, bud? Welcome back in. Right in the plums. Oh, yeah, we're delivering this to our to our turned over scouts that we have to flip over. So, but I was currently just asked to stop moving for 60 seconds, so now we're just kind of hanging out. Pacific Northwest is all, all the way to San Fran and then to Denver. Nice. Asumalin, I didn't say they were. But I was just giving Vangs a suggestion. If you go into a gas station, there's not really a lot of food at a gas station that you could eat that's good for you. That would be considered a meal. <laughs> Unless they had like hot sandwiches, but even like 7-Eleven sandwiches suck. From Albany to Newport, I know it starts in Boston, but no reason to start backtracking. Yeah, there's nothing in Boston at all. Where on pork would you find this rind? Uh, bangs. It's actually pork skins, but that when they're put into a fryer, they fluff up. So you're eating pork, like the out outer exterior of a pig. That's why it's called the rind. Gas station sushi? Never seen it before. I shudder at grocery store sushi. Uh, actually pretty happy, of course. Isn't the Rhine a famous river? No. A Rhine? No. Deep fried pork skin. Yep. Literally food made from the same stuff as leather. Uh, sure. Oh, the Rhine. Yeah, but that's not Rhine. What do you think is the best scout in all-around truck? Uh, I haven't driven them all yet, uh, Kane, so I can't tell you. But right now, my my best truck on my fleet for scouting is the Chevrolet 1500 because I got the the most upgrades for it. I don't know, dude. I haven't driven all the vehicles yet, so I can't answer that question for you. But they all they all have their strengths and weaknesses. The the, the Chevrolet is is a is a boss. The big truck. It has power to weight ratio that's insane. Uh, this one right here, the International is probably the best all around. And then my Chevrolet is pretty good. If I can get bigger tires and a lift kit on the International, I won't drive the Chevrolet anymore. 
what are some of the new things going on in the channel? Uh, we've got new sub badges. We've got new emotes. We've got new, uh, we got cheer modes. I recently transitioned to everyday streaming and we have a schedule that you can access, access with XMH point schedule. Pending things that are new coming up. We're revamping the merch store. I'm still waiting on artists to get back to me. And the ant stream is going to get revamped. Has a crane and flatbed with a ton of parts and spare fuel, but no mud tires. Really? No mud tires? That's interesting. Grocery store sushi is okay. Uh, the product would be available more readily at the grocery store than a gas station. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is... If a grocery store has sushi, then there's obviously a Japanese place around that has sushi, too. MC server still active? It is. Have I found the Hummer yet? No. I haven't explored that much yet, Tank. Armor Gimp, you might not have the, the latest... URL. I'll have to get it to you. Send me, send me a DM. I'll get it for you right now. If you want to. On the discords. Uh. Wait, that's not it. Right here. If your gas station has crappy food, you need to experience the experience. Sheets? I have sheets near me. Sheets is overpriced uh, microwave food. I don't want to experience that again. When I order anything from Sheets, I usually just get drinks because I don't want to order their food. Their food sucks. Can we skip the song? That's the last time I'm skipping that song. Just as, a, just as a heads up. It's on shuffle and repeat. If you don't like it, go away somewhere. <laughs> I'm not a DJ. I'm a streamer. Taint? I was born in West Virginia. All my family lives up there, bud. That's kind of cool. They live there in southern Ohio. But I currently live in northern Cackalack. When you told me to skip it, Don Sibbit, it was halfway through the song. There was only a minute and a half left in it. If you don't want me to skip it until halfway through, just deal with the last half. It's not going to hurt anybody. Fairmont? Cool. Yeah, all my family's around around Charleston for the most part. Charleston. I had to drive up there back in February. My grandmother passed away. I got one more grandparent left. He lives over in Frame. How you doing, Ratnator? Welcome in, buddy. Morgantown. I went there for a band competition back when I was in high school. Oh, Vangs. Mine's going to be gone probably soon. Usually when one loses the other, if they're heartbroken about it, they don't last very long. So. Why the scout field trailer in the back of the truck? Because I can't pull it making a joke. That's why I put the elephant. Oh. I don't usually uh, assign that emote with a joke, but I apologize, Doc Simmons. I know better for the future now. Y'all have six in Morgantown? The train's looking up. Sheet availability. Last living Nana passed a couple years ago. You miss her? Yeah, I've only... I mean... My grandparents on my mother's side, they're all... They all died young, diseases and everything else. My grandparents on my father's side, they don't talk to each other. Or they didn't. And, um... They lived. I mean, they're still... One of them's still alive. You have to do something with the fuel trailer. Uh, now, I don't have to do something. But, um... I am taking it to my scout. That way my scout has fuel. I just have to get to it first. So I'm driving my big truck because both scouts are currently laying on their sides. So I have to save them. 
I'm trying not to recover it all. I'm in hard mode. Everything costs money. So I'm delivering fuel to it. suck. This is gonna suck, isn't it? Um, we need to attach a winch to there. You gotta be kidding me right now. Oh, bye Yoshi. Have a good night, dude. That sucks. I can't do this. Why did it do that? I had the wish so it wouldn't flip over, and damn it if it didn't just flip over. Oh, that one's upside down. That one's stuck. I can get this one out if I try hard enough. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to or not. Let's see. We can get it out. It's gonna take me a while though. Yeah, it does suck because I don't have any way of saving the bigger truck at the moment. This little guy right here is almost out of gas. We are moving. If I can get it out and to the right, I can get it across the water and back over to the big truck. At least get the smaller fuel tank. That way we can refuel this thing. Because there's nowhere to winch to. Which sucks. So we're just kind of here. And we're not improving any distance. We, we are a little bit. We are a little bit, but not enough to write home about. If anything were to flip, I would have bet on that Scout. The Scout only has one upgrade, it's the engine. Moving right. So this is working out for us. I just gotta get it out. You can see the new ground it's encountering. That's a good thing. All right, left got a little bit of movement. All right, so we are moving. I just can't run out of gas or we're screwed. Bishop, it happens, buddy. Good luck. Taint, no. I'm not going to do that. And see, I knew I was going to flip with that big truck. That's why I did the winch, but then the winch wouldn't let me move. And when I undid it, it was like, oh, you want to just flip again? Cool, let's go flip. 